Will my next video get more than 50 views? Hello, happy video day. It's Monday. Um, TGIM, if you don't already know that. Thank goodness it's Monday because I'm making a video and here I am making a video. I'm very happy to report that it is basically summertime in uh, Toronto, or at least very springtime. The last few days have been very warm, very nice. I actually was a little too hot wearing a jean jacket walking around on Saturday, so that is great news for weather and people who are sick of winter, like me. One of my favorite things about the summertime is going garage sailing or yard sailing or whatever you want to call it, uh, especially in Toronto because there are so many different kinds of people in Toronto and there's just so much cool stuff to find. I really like the idea of buying stuff that is pre-loved or used. New things are great too, but when you're decorating your house, you know, unless you're going for something super modern and stylish, you don't really need new stuff because, you know, how much wear and tear is a vase going to get or something. You know what I mean? You don't need brand new stuff. You just need stuff that you like and that matches your personality and your style, which is why I like going to garage sales or antique malls. Obviously, the weather has just turned nice, so I don't have a lot of things from this year's garage sailing season because it hasn't started yet, but I do have a lot of stuff from last year which I'm going to show you making this video a yard sale haul. Now usually in a haul video there would be a point where the person making the video would tell you where they got this item and where you can get it to and how much it costs, but since this is a yard sale haul that doesn't really apply because prices are different for everybody um, and you might not be able to find the same things that I have. So I hope you enjoy regardless. So. Here we go. I'm going to start with a board game that I got. It's one that I've wanted for a long time, but I just never got around to buying it. And I found it at a yard sale, and I think I paid $2 for it. So I'm pretty happy about it. It's got all the pieces. It's Taboo. This is a great game if you've never played it before. Um, the best is to have a partner that you're like really good friends with, because you can basically speak in code. And by that, I mean um, if you went to a birthday party with somebody the night before, and the clue on the card is birthday party, you could say, what did we do yesterday? and then they might say, birthday party! And that's a pretty good way to get answers out quickly without risking saying any of the taboo words. And like I said, it has all the working parts. Even the buzzer works. Um, the battery was dead and corroded when I got it, but I fixed it by putting in a new battery. So that's a pretty easy fix for a yard sale game. Like I said, I think I paid $2 for this, so I'm pretty stoked about it. The next thing I got is a lunchbox. It has a space theme on it. <clears throat> Sorry, I have been inhaling dust from all these items and I can't talk. <coughs> okay, space. It's kind of got like a retro 60s type of vibe in terms of the style of space drawings. Um, on the bottom here it says accoutrement for outer space. Item number 10590 made exclusively for accoutrement. So I don't know if that's a thing or if that just means equipment. But it was made in 1999, so it's not that old, but it has an old feeling to it, and actually it's 16 years old, so <laughs> that is pretty old. I found this exact lunchbox on eBay for about 20 bucks, and I think I paid a dollar for it. I think it was on a dollar table, so good deal. I'm going to use this for storage and as uh, so like a display item. It's empty inside, there's no thermos or anything, but um, yeah, I won't be needing it for lunchbox purposes, but I'll probably put some stuff in it and then stick it on a shelf somewhere. Okay, the next thing I got was $2, um, and it's another thing that I've been wanting for a while. It is a flour or like dry goods sifter for baking. You put your flour or your icing sugar in there. And it comes out the bottom and then through the sieve. <clears throat> and you use a crank to move the thing to the whatever this is, mechanism is called. And basically it crushes the lumps when your flour has lumps in it. They don't make them with cranks anymore if you want to buy them new. you They all come with um, like a hand grip where you squeeze it. And that the squeezy motion moves the inside piece. <clears throat> but a lot of the time the squeezer gets stuck and you have to like pry it apart and squeeze it shut. And also it's just not as comfortable on your hand. It's harder on the hand. So this is a lot easier to use, more comfortable, and I like it better. So this was two bucks and 
It's full of dust also. So I'm excited to use it to make cookies and stuff. Okay, next is a cute little item that I found. I think I paid under two bucks for it. I found this cute owl. Can you see? Is it too bright? Ooh, there we go. Um, it's a cute little owl, and the, his head comes off in a horrifying way. Classic owl turns 360 degrees. No, but it comes off, and actually, originally, it came with like a hand cream or some sort of cream in it, because it is from Avon. There was a time when Avon would sell permanent containers like this, and you would put your products into this container. But I love owls and birds, but mostly owls, so I got this for cheap. Don't make noise, I'm filming. Okay, so the next thing is kind of like a long-term collection-y type thing. I've been trying to gather picture frames to make a collage of pictures in the bathroom. I had an idea to, um, oh, there's a cat. Um, I had an idea to get a different, a bunch of different picture frames and this with one style of picture in it. Um, but I ended up finding a lot of picture frames that match. Now I haven't put any of my own photos in here yet, but I have this style, which is like a, oh god, well that's eight-sided octagonal, octagonal shaped picture frame. Things by this thingy. Um, you're not actually supposed to change the picture out because it doesn't really lend for that, but I'm probably going to give it a shot anyway. Uh, and I have four, three more, so I have four all together. And then I also found... These two square ones that are kind of goldish. And again, I'm gonna switch these pictures out. And then I found these larger ones, they're gray. I think I found these at an antique market and the guy was trying to charge like five bucks a piece. I managed to talk him down to two for five, I believe. Pretty proud of myself for that deal. Five bucks for both of these. And then, not a garage sale, but at Value Village, which is like a used shop here in the city, um, I found two more of the exact same frame for three dollars each from Bio Village, so I got more because my original plan to have all different picture frames was already failing because I kept buying things in sets, so I thought I'd get four for no reason. But like I said, I haven't even picked out what I'm going to put in them yet. But now that I have a lot of picture frames, I might as well get going on the picture part and actually do something with them. So I will do that this summer, hopefully. Um, the next thing I got is also not from a garage sale, but it's from an estate sale, so it's kind of the same thing, but inside the house instead of outside of the house. Um, this one I saw a picture of at first, so I bought it online at an online estate sale, and then I went to the house to pick it up. And the picture, it's basically a mail holder for mail and sorting mail and whatnot. And the picture made it look like it was about this wide and maybe like this tall. That's out of frame tall. That's how tall it is. Out of frame tall. Anyway, it had like dividers uh, where you would put different kinds of letters. So it has like letters, bills, miscellaneous, stuff like that. And then at the bottom it has hooks for keys. Uh, and it has keys on it. I think the minimum price for this was five bucks, so I bid six. And I got it because no one else was bidding on anything, I guess. So that's pretty good news for me. Anyway, I went to pick it up. And it is a lot smaller than I thought it was, which is fine. I thought I was going to have trouble carrying it home on the streetcar. Uh, this is it. It's much smaller than I thought it would be, but as you can see, it has different sections for different things, and you can hang your keys at the bottom. The funny part is, it's not even tall enough for a letter. This isn't a letter, but it's about a letter size. Uh, if you just slide this into the miscellaneous section, it covers up the label for the next section. So, I mean, how are you going to know what each section is when there's letters in there? Anyway, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with this. Obviously, I'm going to hang it on a wall, but maybe I'll paint it. Um, maybe I'll take these dividers off and just have them as little shelves. That time will tell. Obviously, I have a lot of projects scheduled in my, for my future. Okay, and the other thing I got at the online auction is cute wall decorations. Um, as I said earlier with the Avon thing, I love birds. And this was reminded me of kind of like Disney-style birds, but they were just so cute that I had to get them again. I paid six dollars for them and they're not in the best shape but they're cute and I like them. This is a wall hanging, it's a cute ceramic bird, nicely hand painted, it's very cheery looking and um, there are two little ones that go along with it. They each have a different pose 
This little guy had a chip at the top of his wing. I managed to match the color perfectly with my extensive male nail polish collection. I've moved right across this screen, haven't I? Should I come back over here? Okay. So yeah, six bucks for these three things. Um, eventually when I paint my walls, I will put these up and then they'll be cute. Got a lot of eventuallys happening here. Um, I will do it though. I will do it. I can do it. I can be organized. Okay, that's all. That's it. That's all the stuff that I have to show you. Hopefully this video wasn't a million years long. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to the new season of Garage Sailing. Well, I really hope you liked watching this video and going through all my stuff with me. If you want to leave a comment, let me know what item you liked best. Was it this hand crank thing? Was it this cute bird thing? Or was it the weird, possibly something, possibly not anything lunchbox with space stuff on it? Let me know what you liked best. Thanks again for watching. I hope you tune in again next Monday when I have another video. And if you haven't already, check out last week's video and the week before and the week before that, etc, etc, etc. Have a good week! Bye! I had to cut this video into two parts because I had a lot of records to show you that made the video way too long. So make sure you look for a video later this week with the second half of all records. Until then, watch my last week's video and subscribe for more stuff! It does kind of remind you of like the birds that dress up Cinderella, doesn't it? A dream is a wish your heart makes.